Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Journey of Awakening podcast. My name is Lena, and I'm a spiritual teacher and a coach. So here on this episode today, I want to talk about the causal plane. Uh, If you're new to this uh, podcast, I talk about uh, really the journey of awakening and specifically the uh, mystical experiences I've had, the visions I've had, and um, revelation that has come to me uh, through um, whether it's, you know, telepathic communication, you know, in meditation or just things that come through from my higher self as I am writing. Um, So yeah, so today we're going to talk about the causal plane. Now, the causal plane is a plane of existence that holds the Akashic Records, which in scripture is called the Book of Life. Now, there are different dimensions, right? There are 12 dimensions, and there are uh, planes of existence. On I don't know if there are different planes of existence, multiple planes of, of existence on all of the dimensions. Um, actually, I have, I don't know. Um, but on the... In the third, fourth, and fifth dimension, I believe, yes, there are different planes of existence. Um, And I was just listening to a channeled message by uh, the Theo group. Uh, It's channeled by Sheila Gillette. And they mention that in this human form, we have the ability to experience up uh, up the to the sixth dimension, like in this physical body, which is what many would consider being enlightened. Um, But many of us are uh, within the, uh, the fifth dimension, right? Right now, more so in that fifth dimensional uh, state of state, really Um, more so than the, the third dimension. So anyway, uh, the the causal plane um, holds the Akashic records. Again, it's the book of life. So when we move into this plane of existence, you know, often in sleep or deep meditation, we're able to access uh, intellectual lessons regarding the structure of the universe, right? Um, uh, we can also access information about our previous incarnations. Um, and on the causal plane, we may... Uh, we may actually teach astral beings in order to assist them in their emotional lessons. So there are different things that we can access on the causal plane. Um, we learn to operate as a single consciousness uh, as we begin to sense like our relationship with other beings. And the causal plane it can also be recognized by the sounds that distinguish it, specifically the sounds of bells and ringing. And the reason... Uh, I wrote a post on the causal plane, and the reason I'm discussing it now is because I, before I even had heard of the causal plane, I was waking up to the sound of hearing doorbell or hearing a phone ringing, and then I started um, hearing, you know, these beautiful, like, angelic sounds and tones, etc., uh, throughout the day, um, but I was waking up almost every, I mean, multiple times a week to the sound of a doorbell or the phone ringing. Most often it was the sound of a doorbell, but ringing, and I was uh, and I was hearing ringing in the ears too. The ringing in the ears has really transitioned over to this beautiful these tones and frequencies and stuff. So, and I've, I've written about that, um, you know, and, and created an episode on that as well. But anyway, so when I found out about the causal plane, the uh, information I found helped me to make sense of why I was waking up to the sounds of, uh, the doorbell ringing or a phone ringing so often. Um, or like if I heard ringing in the mornings, right, immediately upon waking up. 
uh, still kind of in that sleepy state. So uh, the really finding about out about the causal plane just helped to corroborate my understanding of my previous um, uh, previous incarnations, lives, and karmic debt, etc. Because again, the akashic records are you know held within the the cause on the causal plane at least that's what i have what research has shown me when i've looked into the causal plane and my own experience is based on uh past life regression in meditation take myself through meditation and things i've experienced uh while asleep and uh even when awake and, and writing down dreams and stuff and then i'll start to remember other things that have, have happened so um it just all core it just all kind of tied in together for me you know others may have different experiences but anyway it just started the it was like the pieces of the, of the puzzle just started fitting together and i was like oh okay this makes sense and um I was also, so I was watching a show on Gaia um, and came across a show titled Beyond Belief. And I actually wasn't searching for anything in particular, but um, this particular episode was titled Clearing Karmic Debt. And that's where they talked about the causal plane. I don't believe in coincidences. So I know that, you know, as I, I turned on my. Uh, as I turned on my Roku on my, on my TV and, um, you know, I clicked on Gaia and saw this title and I was like, karmic debt, huh? I'm, I know what karmic debt means. So let me take a look at this episode. And then, um, the individual was talking about the causal plane. So I thought that was interesting. And then immediately knew that, it was not a coincidence because the information that we come across is really, we already innately know it. There's a part of us that knows it. And that's why it is, it comes into our awareness, right? Um, and why certain things resonate with us at, at different times, right? We already have all this knowing within us. Uh, and then stuff comes into our, to awareness to help us really um understand who we are understand what we are experiencing and stuff and different things are revealed at different times right based on where we are on our journey so um so anyway so i found this show uh on gaia beyond belief and the episode so clearing karmic debt and i found out about the causal plane now, uh, for any of you guys who follow my channel, my YouTube channel, especially my videos on mystical experiences, you know that quite often I hear the sound of bells. Uh, and I've just talked about that. The sound of doorbells, other types of ringing quite often. And I recently learned uh, that I'm clairaudient. Uh, let's see, three, four, I don't know, five, six months ago, maybe? Somewhere around there. Towards the end of 2021. So... I hear, again, <coughs> excuse me, tones and sounds throughout the day. Now, most often, I hear the sounds in my right ear, but occasionally I hear them in my left. Um, some of the stuff that I talk about, uh, you may, I'll talk about in other episodes, because as these experiences happen, and I tie them together, and I create, you know, my blog post stuff out of them, like I said, it's like pieces of a puzzle. Everything really uh, uh, correlates together. So anyway, some of the information will be repeated. Um, all right. So uh, I believe that in a certain like vibrational frequency, a certain state of consciousness, that I'm accessing the causal plane in my waking state as I'm hearing these sounds and stuff. Um, that's especially when I'm just waking up. So, uh, you know, these beautiful tones and frequencies may be angelic sounds from other dimensions or other beings coming through. That's what I, be that's what I believe them to be. Um, now what are the messages? I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, 
but I'm hoping one day, be, I'm hoping at some point, and I think at some point, uh, the, um, I may start hearing more messages audibly rather than telepathically because the audible messages that come through where I hear it actually in my left ear aren't very frequent. Um, most things come like telepathically while I'm sitting in meditation um, or when I'm sleeping uh, or like right before waking. So anyway, um, there aren't words that uh, come along with the, the tones and frequencies, these sounds and stuff is what I'm trying to say. So again, there are different dimensions or different planes of existence within each dimension. So the causal plane is a fifth dimensional plane of existence. And I, I think I mentioned earlier that I'm really no longer um, residing in a third dimensional state of consciousness. I've awakened back in 2019 and go back and forth, you know, um, between the fourth and fifth dimensional dimension. Um, a lot of the times I'm really in that flow state um, of the fifth dimensional, uh, you know, state. So it would make sense. And I'm here, these, these, tones, these sounds and stuff now, I'm hearing the ringing of the bell and I'm um, understanding my past lives and things like that um, because I've been on the causal plane, right? Um, in uh, at night when I'm sleeping and right upon wakening, probably just coming out of that, that state off of that plane. So um, let's see. Played. I'm actually going through the, the blog post. So anyway, um, so the causal plane is a, is a fifth dimensional plane of existence. And um, it's the smallest of the planes. It is, um, oh, so yeah, it's the smallest of the planes. And so I guess I'm often in my causal body, which when you're in the causal body, it's between the physical body and the astral body. Um, I have n I have only that I know of astral projected once, and I'll be sharing that eventually here on the podcast on my YouTube channel. That was wow, Th like that was interesting. Um, there was another time where I kind of felt myself like float out of my body, and it freaked me out, and I came back into the body like I physically felt myself drop back in. I was asleep. <sighs> It wasn't during meditation. But anyway, so the causal body is between the physical body and the astral body. So it's not astral projecting, but you're not in your physical body anymore. So uh, I have incredible mystical dreams and experiences. Uh, you know, and again, I've been through past life regression and meditation. It's just fascinating to be able to fit the pieces of the puzzle together. You know, the dreams of previous incarnations, the experiences such as the ringing, and the ears, etc. Um, and then in addition to the causal plane, which is, uh, it's one of the three ordinal planes. So there's the natural plane, the exalted plane, which consists consists of the mental, like uh, messianic and Buddhic planes, and I believe the planes may be called, you know, by different names depending on the cultures and the teachings. Um, but as far as dimensions, I've heard that there are. Well, at the time, um, I had like written this post up and had the experience that there were like 10, 11, and 12 dimensions. But, um, a, you know, <clears throat> a couple times I've heard, you know, 12 dimensions. But then as I was listening to the channeled message the other day and, and the Theo group, you know, confirmed that there were 12 dimensions. So there are 12 dimensions. Um, but based on my experiences, I can't say from my own personal experience that there are 12. I have not, I have not experienced 
uh, the 12 dimensions that I know of. In meditation, um, I have been introduced to the, uh, the fact that there are definitely nine, and anything I've heard about uh, 12 dimensions has all been from external resources. So uh, I wanted to make that clear because I think it's important um, to relate the fact that most of what I share is based on experience. Um, some of it is what I've learned from external resources, but I try to be careful in making sure what I'm sharing correlates with uh, the experiences I've had on some level as well. Um, because anybody can just share information uh, that they hear from elsewhere, but then to be able to really like tie it into your own experiences, I think adds a, a, another level of it too, because, um, yeah, because again, I mean, they're just my own personal experiences. Uh, let's see. All right. Now, as I was mentioned, as I just mentioned, I've been introduced to the ninth dimension, like in meditation. So I've had telepathic communication with ninth dimensional beings while meditating. So for that dimension, going up through the ninth, I can attest to it. Um, but I believe that there are 12, uh, these higher dimensional beings that, you know, are channeled through uh, other individuals. Um, of course, I believe in it.